Yeah, putting some flux will make it easy. Try to get the wire as flat on the board as you can. So instead of it, see how it's kind of like bending down over here? Right here. Yeah, like uh, move, move the, this up a little bit. All right, so see how that's kind of like it's on the it's soldered to the top and then it goes down to the board. Try to get it so it's soldered all the way down. So like grab that curvy tip and uh, grab it the, the opposite way so when you're going to solder it. Because you see how the curving tip can kind of curve around the resistor? Yeah. Now kind of uh, push down as you're getting it on the board. So try to get the thing so it's right up on the resistor. All right. Now run that wire in so that it kind of is going with the, where the pad is. So you can kind of have it like follow where the trace was. All right, so now hold it down with one set of tweezers. This is the fun part here. It's really fun because I have to find two sets of tweezers. Or you could use, let's say, a multimeter probe to hold it down on the other set of tweezers. See, the whole idea is, you know how I break the wire off by moving it back and forth? Hold it down and then fix it. Yeah, so you want it to be just the length of where the pad would be. So that's just about right here. Mm-hmm. Pain in the ass. You'll find that very little goes the way you want it to. Okay, so kind of zoom out so that I can see the whole thing and get it in focus. Um. Like go all the way to seven, uh, just 7x seven because right now you're at 15. Let's see what the whole area looks like. Okay, now you're going to grab it, ship off of one of my uh, certified pre-owned motherboards over here. Yeah, good as good as fucking new. And let's see. So that is this chip. So you're going to take that, you're going to replace the chip. Between the air filter and the intake fan, there's some nice ventilation here. All right. 
Remember, try, you're going to have to eventually get to tapping it from the top. If you do it from the side, your jumper's gonna run away. Move the board down a little, and I think the microscope has to be a little closer to the board for it to be in focus. Because usually when it's not foc in focus on the TV, it's not in focus for you perfectly either. Yeah, so just flux it and go around it with the curving tip just to get rid of those blobs that you have there. This is a royal pain in the ass, but when you have to get, you just have to figure out the technique for yourself that works. Yeah. It's not to, not to practice. Use the the pointy ends like to actually feel each joint as you go, so you can feel that you floated. That's the beauty of that curving tip. It just obviously be careful when you go around the one with the jumper. You may want to hold the jumper down with the tweezers when you're touching up that joint. You put it on a little crooked, which is my hallmark. That's my warranty sticker. I mean, if I see that the chip is not on straight, I'm not good at getting the chip on perfectly straight. I don't think I've ever soldered a chip perfectly straight in my life. Now for the fun part. Uh, plug, in, uh, plug in the charger. Let's see. see if your work did anything. Five. You think it, blows, it goes on fire or the fan spins? The fan spins. Yeah, hold up your board. I gotta get a picture of this. I highly recommend Rossman Repair Board School. He teaches very well. And look at this. This this board came in not working, and it's working now. Awesome. The fan spins. <laughs>